Yes, well, my my general uh, research interests are um, focuses on migration policies, but uh, in the last years I've been developing a research most centered in the law enforcement uh, of these migrant policies, uh, because in my region uh, the action of the armed force and the police and the police officers is uh, very important. It's, it's crucial for migrant people because of our own characteristics. So that are my my special interests, and I try to analyze them since a critical perspective. The pandemic uh, was a, a very, very strong factor of immobility in Mexico for migrant communities. But it's necessary to say that when the pandemic started in Mexico, um, my country have already uh, upgrading migration control measurements against migrant people. Um, these uh, migration control are expressed by um, a very high militarized function of the migrant authorities, and it uh, combines, we can say that, with uh, a deeper coordination with the American administration of the US government. Uh, talking about the US government, uh, specifically with the President Trump administration, uh, the asylum process in that country was suspended uh, already before the, the pandemic. It, it was um, undermined before the, the outbreak of the pandemic, but when COVID-19 came, the asylum system, the asylum processes in the United States was absolutely suspended and shut down. And these uh, make, take as an effect that all people uh, seeking asylum in that country needed to wait for the process in Mexican territory. So we had a lot of people because in Mexico, yearly thousands of people crossed on an irregular basis the south border attempting to reach the United States. So we have a lot of people coming in an, on an irregular basis to Mexico and then a wall, uh, a bureaucratic wall at the asylum process in the United States. And if we uh, assume that the border closes, the transport service suspended, the quarantine in general, the health hazard in general, was, it was a very, very, very precarious condition where migrant people found, found themselves here in Mexico at the pandemic. Early on this year, in February of uh, uh, 2021, uh, the new government, the administration of Joe Biden, uh, finished this uh, program called Remain in Mexico of the protocol, uh, protection protocol uh, of migrants, so that people has not more to be uh, required to remain in Mexico for their asylum process, but it is start on February, and it was very, very, very little people that can, that could, and are are now able to have their process. Uh, the more parts of these people are still in Mexico, but there's a change in in order that people uh, is not more uh, sent to Mexico for this. It it sent people are sent for deportation and the let's say the normal condition and return of migrants from the US to Mexico, but not this program specifically that was very, um, that Mexico can't afford, couldn't afford this because all that means in terms of security of food, no, the access to water and things like that for people's security in general. So there have been some changes, but it has to say that the ground border, it's closed. Today, today is almost or is already closed, 
and uh, well, it's uh, a kind of immobility, but it starts to to change in this in these terms. 